Lexington Humane Society, founded in 1889, it's a 501c3 organization, solely dependent on us, private donations, grants, and community support. Most notably, Lexington Humane Society, the largest pet adoption agency in central Kentucky. That's right, and their mission is to advocate for the compassionate treatment of animals, to educate the community on responsible, lifelong pet ownership, and to promote adoption as the best option when searching for a new pet. And welcome to the show, <laughs> Hannah Farrell, again, and with your newest fur friend. Let's talk about who we have here today. Absolutely, so this is Sweetness. Yeah. Sweetness. Sweetness. Sweetness, and it's a very fitting name. She's a very, very sweet she girl. She is very yes. sweet. She is about two years old. She is a gorgeous gray tabby, and she's got beautiful yellow-green eyes. She uh, does. She is, like I said, about two years old, and she came to us as a stray. But you really wouldn't know. Really? I mean, she's so good being handled, great with she's people. She's been a perfect little lady she here has. in the studio Her little today. paws are just crossed so nicely. She's crossed. a little lady. She is. Yes, and we know uh, people have a lot of sweetness going on in their life this week with all the Halloween candy. <laughs> right, oh, so it's yeah. appropriate. But maybe uh, people want to add just a little more sweetness to their yes. life and have a little Sweetness <laughs> overload. I yes. love it. So, um, so tell us, what kind of a family would sweetness do well with? We think pretty much any family. Yeah. Uh, we think she'd do really well with kids. She uh -huh. doesn't really mind being handled too much. I do think the bright lights are a little much for her at I the know. moment. Uh, but she's so me sweet. Me too, sweetness. <laughs> yes. Uh, does great with other cats. Um, so really, any home she'd be perfect for. Right. Yeah. Anybody that right. wants her. And I, I love how you all have um, opportunities for people to get to know mm -hmm. sweetness. Uh, even other uh, family members mm -hmm. and uh, furry family members. You want to make sure Absolutely. that that love connection is going to work. For sure. We're a big proponent of meet and greets. Yeah. Um, so coming in, actually spending time with the animal, mm -hmm. bring your kids with you. Mm -hmm. um, when someone's interested in adopting a dog, mm -hmm. we often recommend if they already have other dogs in their home, mm -hmm. bring them along. We'll arrange for them to um, meet and greet each other in right. a you know safe, contained space. Yes. See if they're a good match. Because uh, the thing is, if they're not a good match, you know, we don't want to be sending an animal into that's a home right. that's, that's right. not going to be a good fit for them, and maybe Absolutely. the animal's going to end up right back with us. Yeah, because this then it's... needs to be a forever home. Yes, exactly, they do. and yeah. that's what we want. And we'd rather know that up front. Yeah, have that meet and greet, see if it's the perfect match, and if it is, amazing. If it's not, maybe we have another animal that is a better fit, mm -hmm. and we'll just keep working to find that particular animal. Um, a home that is a good fit for them. That's right. Yeah. And you also have a lot of volunteers. It takes yes. a small army to run what you guys are doing. It so truly does. Yeah. Let's talk about that. Are you looking yes. for new volunteers right now? Always. We're yeah. always accepting new volunteers. It's a very easy process. We have the volunteer questionnaire application on our website mm -hmm. that people can fill out. Um, and then we just reach back out to them. We the questionnaire is to help us get to know that person, get to know their schedule, yeah. get to know um, what exactly they're interested in doing with us. Do they want to help us at our events? Do they want to help us, um, you know, in the kennels at our main shelter? Mm -hmm. You know, what's the best fit for them? Do they yeah. prefer cats, dogs, that kind of thing? That's gotcha. awesome. Yeah. In terms of donations, yeah. um, whether it's monetary or mm -hmm. physical donations, um, wh where are you currently? What's what's the current need, do you think? Um, I mean, always accepting financial donations, of course. Mm -hmm. As a 501c3 nonprofit, we can right. make the dollars that come to us go a little further. Yes. Awesome. So always so appreciative of those. Yeah. Um, always taking any pet items anyone would like to donate. Mm -hmm. We have links on our website, our Amazon wish list, and our Chewy wish list where yes. people can donate directly to us. We also have just like a text wish list of our, our needed items. And we're also <laughs> always taking um, anything, used towels, sheets, um, people that are kind of, you know, cleaning out and wanting to get rid of some, you know, used pet items. Oh, they can yes. bring those to us as well. Awesome. Sweetness yeah. is on the move. <laughs> she yes. is. Well, Hannah, thank you so much for coming in today. We appreciate thank it. Thanks.